Hello everyone, it's Seth, probably better known as Saffron Olive, and it's time for another Instant Deck Tech. So as you know, Thursday means it's Fishbowl Thursday, where we get to take a look at one of the super sweet decks sent in by all of you. And this week, we are heading to Modern to check out a deck I'm calling Infinite Alarm. Comes to us from Andrew Duffy, so congrats to Andrew on a super sweet brew. A quick reminder before we break down Infinite Alarm for Modern. If you enjoy this deck and you want to see a main to videos, take a minute, click the like button, the subscribe button, leave a comment, anything you can do to support your deck, because whichever deck is most popular gets a shot at being main to videos next week. So Infinite Alarm built around Intruder Alarm, a really powerful, lots of combo potential enchantment for Modern. So three mana, you get an enchantment that makes it so creatures don't untap during their controller's untap phase. However, whenever a creature comes into play, you get to untap all of our creatures. So that's what we're kind of built around, is looking to go infinite with creatures thanks to the untapping ability of Intruder Alarm. And Intruder Alarm is so important and essential to the plan of our deck, we're actually playing a couple of Zer the Enchanters specifically to tutor out Intruder Alarms. We can get a couple of other things that we'll talk about later, but for the most part, Zer is just copies 5 and 6 of Intruder Alarm. That's how badly we need Intruder Alarm on the battlefield. So how do we go infinite with Intruder Alarm? And we have eight creatures in total that if we can get them on the battlefield and hopefully have them not be summoning six so untap with them with an intruder alarm we just go infinite with one one token steward of solidarity we tap it to make a one one warrior it has to exert but whatever because when the token enters the battlefield we get to untap it so the exert isn't relevant so basically you can just tap and untap to itself to make an infinite number of one one warriors thraben doomsayer basically the same thing except for three mana instead of two comes down taps makes a human, human enters the battlefield with intruder alarm, untaps Raymond Doomsayer, tap it, untap it, tap it, untap it, the end result is just an infinite a number of 1-1s one to hopefully kill our opponent. The sweet thing about this deck is it's got some plans to make the combo win right away. So one of the downsides of intruder alarm with Steward of Solidarity or Thraben Doomsayer is normally after you make all these tokens, you gotta pass the turn. Then you gotta let your opponent cast a Pyroclasm or an Anger of the Gods or something like that. But this deck has a couple of different options for just killing the opponent on the spot when we go infinite. So Soul Warden doesn't actually kill the opponent, but it gives us infinite life. If we have a Soul Warden out when we make our infinite tokens, we make a million tokens, gain a million life. Maybe our opponent actually has a Pyroclasm, but we're at a million life. So we're going to win the game anyway because our opponent's not going to be able to kill us. Devouring Swarm, pretty spicy. Sacks a creature, gets plus one, plus one until end of turn, has flying, so gets over a lot of defenses. So with this, we basically just start sacking our warriors or our humans until Devouring Swarm is maybe 50 power, 100 power, a trillion power, whatever number we choose, swing over, kill our opponent. And then, of course, Impact Tremors is really sweet for two reasons. Not only does it directly kill our opponent right away, because whenever one of our tokens enters a battlefield, we ping our opponent for one 20 times, gets them down to zero from 20, but it's an enchantment, so we can actually tutor it out with our Xur as well. So it's one of our backup Xur targets. Speaking of backup Xur targets, we have a pretty interesting mix. So Presence of the Gone is actually another combo piece. It basically turns any of our creatures, like our Brain Maggot, for example, or our Xur, for example, into a Thraben Doomsayer. So we can go infinite with a Xur with the presence of the Gon and an Intruder Alarm out, tapping and untapping, tapping and untapping, same combo. Detention Sphere gives us some removal. Brain Maggot, we can tutor out and kind of like Thought Seize our opponent to make sure the coast is clear to combo off. Otherwise, Dark Confidant, Wall of Omens, just cycle through our deck, help us find our combo pieces in the early game. Inquisition and Thought Seize, let us tear apart our opponent's hand, give us some protection. And then Path to Exile and Fatal Push for removal. Mana base wise, we have a few mana confluence it's a little bit painful, pain a bit of life, but helping make sure we can cast all of our stuff on time. A bunch of fetch lands, a bunch of shock lands, a couple of ghost quarters for Tron and creature lands, and some basic lands. As far as the sideboard, rest in peace, surgical extraction, give us some graveyard hate. Negate to fight through opponent's disruption, counter spells, removal spells. If our opponent can kill our Thraven Doomsayer or Steward of Solidarity in response to the 
tap trigger, then they can fizzle our combo. So we are a little bit fragile when it comes to our opponent having targeted removal, but negate helps protect us there. Supreme Verdict for aggro matchups, Stony Silence to shut down decks like Affinity and even Tron, and Fulminator Mage definitely for Tron, blowing up the lands. And that is Infinite Alarm for Modern. And that's our instant deck tech for today. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will talk to you soon. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, help us out by clicking that like button down below. And to keep up on all the latest and greatest, click that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell icon to get alerts whenever we have new videos. And if you want to, check out some of our other sweet videos here and here.